Oh, baby, I don't give any tips in Panama. But normally we tip, you know. After her voyage with Gino Palazzo Love comes to an end on 90 Day Fianke, happily ever after, season 8, Jasmine Pineda need to make her way back to Panama City. Through a sugar baby website, the Panamanian woman made contact with her American B.O. She made the romantic decision to pursue him if she liked his personality. Gino traveled to Panama in 2021 in an attempt to further his romance with Jasmine. He exuded confidence in his relationship and had a deep affinity with her. Regretfully, Gino's plans did not turn out as he had hoped. He made a mistake by giving his ex access to Jasmine's personal photos, which resulted in tension and fight scenes on film. Jasmine's character really changed after the incident where Gino unintentionally revealed her nude photos. When she reappeared in the next season of 90 Day Fianke, before the 90 days she had changed and was more self-aware. She even demanded another ring from Gino, lied to him about her relationship with her ex-boyfriend Dane, and pressed Gino to expedite the K-1 visa procedure. Despite Jasmine's behavioral problems, Gino unexpectedly decided to stay with her and invited her to the U.S. for their wedding. Season 10 of 90 Day Fianke followed Jasmine and Gino's wedding journey, which wasn't without its difficulties. The pair has struggled to put their past problems behind them now that they are in America. Jasmine had a lot of trust issues when she confronted Gino after finding lip gloss in his car. She also requested an unusual wedding venue, a beach ceremony without family members in attendance. Notwithstanding these obstacles, Jasmine and Gino were married in June 2023 in Wayne County, Michigan. Jasmine and Gino are presently showcasing their post-marriage lives on season 8 of 90 Day Fianke, happily ever after. New rumors surfaced after their TV comeback, some of which implied they had broken up. Jasmine deleted the majority of Gino's images from her social media accounts in December 2023. She also took off her wedding band, she later shared images of gifts for Valentine's Day along with a mysterious note for a special someone. Video of her hanging out with an unidentified male was also shared on TikTok by at 90dafiance.news. The most recent allegations state that Gino and Jasmine split up because of her infidelity. After her breakup with Gino, Jasmine has a lot of reasons to go back to Panama. Most of her family, including her boys, sisters, mother and close friends, are in Panama, despite the fact that she has established some friends here in the US. Going back to her former lifestyle and being with them would make her much happier. Jasmine will not be able to find happiness, positivity, or rationality anyplace in the United States. Instead, her family will infuse her life with these qualities. Living a short distance from her siblings and children would allow her to unwind considerably more. In the past few months, Jasmine has expressed her desire to travel back to Panama on numerous occasions. She has expressed a desire to go back to her native country, which makes sense given that she dislikes living in Michigan. Panama is a tropical nation that is friendly and inviting. Michigan is not as alive and is much colder. In the past, Jasmine likened Gino's home state to cold hell. She will never be pleased and isn't happy in Michigan. Jasmine should go back to Panama so she can experience the pleasant weather there. The most recent instance is when Jasmine wished Gino a happy anniversary without identifying him and got no reply. In order to avoid giving away the plot of the 90 Day Fianke spin-off, Jasmine seems to want to convey that she is still wed to Gino, but rather than using their failed marriage as a means of attention, she ought to go back to Panama after they divorced since she traveled to the United States to marry Gino.